Well, hello, uh, my friends, my brothers and sisters. Uh, this is Brother Wes again uh, with another word of encouragement. If you see my title, Silent Killer, it's not what you think. It's not what you think. It's not a uh, heart attack, but it can cause what a heart attack can bring, which is death. And I want to talk about that briefly, briefly. Uh, but before I um, talk about that, um, I just want to say this to, to those uh, of my brothers and sisters and friends and followers that are on YouTube. If you've asked this question, why uh, do I not do live videos? One of the reasons why is because I don't know how to save or copy the uh, video. Like on Facebook, I'm able to save the videos on uh, Periscope and Twitter, but on um Facebook like I can't so that's why I usually I don't but if you could inbox me or uh, uh, send me some instructions on how to do it and how to be able to uh, save those videos uh, then uh, I will I will start doing more live videos on uh, more valid well live videos on uh, YouTube keep me in your prayers keep me in your prayers uh, what I want to talk about is the silent killer and it started all from the beginning when God created a man and a woman, when they were in the Garden of Eden. And in the Garden of Eden, at the, the one tree of good and evil, there were three people, or there were three individuals, there were three people there, but there's only two people talking, the serpent and the woman. The serpent was talking to the woman, but her man, Adam, he was silent. So from him being silent from the beginning, it created a domino effect where there was silence eventually there brought death silence brings death if you look in a relationship simply in a relationship and the problem is when you have a thought but from the time you get that thought until you talk to that person or that situation and address that thought time has went by and so in that time there's a conversation there's a conversation. And see, that's what God has been speaking to me lately is about communication and conversation. Because that's actually why God created man. For communication, conversation. Man and a woman. Communication, conversation, relationship. So you relate to a person through your words, through what you say. And so this is why what I want to talk about, the silent killer. In a relationship, when you have a disagreement misunderstanding or whatever it is. It could be a misunderstanding, but a disagreement. The the worst thing you can do is become silent. Because when you become silent with your mouth, your brain is going to be in to talk, talk, and talk, and tell you all kind of stuff. And if you're not careful, in your mind, you will become the judge, the jury, and the executioner, not just for a person, but for a situation. And then in your mind, you will have it all figured out Everything you think, everything you feel is right. Everything you feel, everything you think is law. When really the adversary has really deceived and hoodwinked you. See, because the way that we relate or the way that we communicate or have a relationship, it comes when two people converse, talk about, express what's in their heart, express what's going on with them, and exchange the other person does the same thing. And what happens, you build a bond. Oftentimes, when you go through a bad situation or bad times in your relationship or bad times in your marriage or bad times in your friendship or whatever, in those bad times, even though it's bad, if you work through it, if you fight through the silence, you fight through the pain, you fight through the disagreement, you fight through the hurt, then eventually, in the end, you will become a closer unit. So this is what, what was in my spirit today was the, the silent killer. The silent killer is when... You become silent in your mind. And then when you become silent in your mind, then that's when the accuser will begin to talk to you, talk to you, talk to you, and build a case. And see the thing about it, words are seeds and words shape. And what you have to be careful of also, if you look at people who are, 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 are mean or people who are bitter or people who have certain issues or certain issues that's going on with them, they become the actual shape of what, what's going on with them. There's so many people that they carry their emotions on their shoulder. All you got to do is look at them. 
and you can tell what they're going through. Cause what happens is that that conversation on the inside is shaping their body language. What you need to understand, even about communication, 80% of communication, a lot of it is body language. How you position when somebody talking to you, are you looking at them or are you turning away? That's a message and a message. So, see, we need to become in agreement. See, because in this hour, God is restoring back homes. He's restoring back families. He's restoring back churches. He's restoring back brothers to brothers, sisters to sisters. He's restoring it back. The Bible says, even Jesus said in the last days, that he's going to send the spirit of Elijah. If that, that wasn't so, God would destroy the earth with a curse. But he will not do that. He's going to send the spirit of Elijah to turn hearts back. Mothers, uh, daughters and mothers and fathers and sons. And he's bringing unity because God instituted home from the beginning. The foundation is home. That's where the greatest influence is. It's home. And it starts with communication. In your home, create a certain a lifestyle, create a certain culture, certain um, habits, certain things that your kids and your environment, the people that are in your house can emulate. Just like a person who's a salesman, if they, you have kids, uh, your kids going to become, they're going to be able to talk to because they were raised in that environment. And so we need to raise our kids. We need to raise each other, teach each other in a, an environment of communication, honesty, not holding stuff in your mind because when you hold stuff and not tell that person, you're being dishonest. Then you all of a sudden come out and tell them. No, it starts from the beginning. Don't let silence grow. Silence, silence.